Hello, today we're going to take a look at the superhero web part. What the heck is that? It's something I made up. This is referring to the hero web part that's on the home page of just about every SharePoint site. I call my setup the superhero web part because it takes the great features that are in that web part and adds to it and lets you do a whole bunch of new things. So I think this is something you'll find interesting. It'll be a great way for you to dress up your SharePoint sites and have a whole bunch more configuration options to make SharePoint look great. So now let's get SharePoint smart. All right, let's start by taking a look at the hero web part. Some of you might not even know that there is a thing called the hero web part. This is what you see typically on the home page of SharePoint, and we see it typically because that's what Microsoft gives us out of the box. And so a lot of businesses will just load in some images and links and stick with that. And that's fine. In some cases, that's all that you need. Let's see what it does, and then we'll do a comparison and see what more we can do with this new setup that I'm going to demonstrate. Okay, so here's the hero web part, and in a hero web part, you have the option to do, you know, one tile, two tiles, three tiles, four tiles, five tiles, and, you know, that's the maximum setup. They also have this option to do layers, that's another kind of navigation thing. Um, a bit too spread out, I would say. So that's what the hero web part is that you have on the home page of SharePoint. Looks pretty nice, and if you only need a few links, that's fine. But what if you wanted to have more options? You want to have more squares, you want to have more control over that layout, and do more with it. And that's what we're going to take a look at in the rest of this video. So let me go ahead and republish that. And we're done taking a look at the out-of-the-box hero web part that we're given by Microsoft. All right, so now to the superhero web part. Okay, this is a navigation style template. This is an example. This is actually matching that five tile setup. But you're going to find out that you can actually move these squares around and do any kind of layout you want. I'm going to help you understand how that would work. I'm going to show you some different theme options. So if I click through that, that's kind of the first thing you can do. And what you can tell is that I can adjust things. This is dynamic, unlike the um, you know fixed settings that we were just looking at. So if you wanted to do wider tiles, you can do that. So you can tweak that box size. Maybe I want to do something a little more compact. You have the option to do that. It's completely in your control. And then you can do things like adjust your font size or even the font face if for some reason you want to do something a little different. Um, all kinds of different things you can do there. And additionally you can control the position of the text. Maybe instead of the bottom you want those um, descriptions to show up on the top of the links. So that is all configurable. It is your SharePoint list that's going to define the size of each of these boxes and their location. And I'm going to help you understand a little bit about how that works. Luckily, it is easy to do. Uh, so I'm going to hop over to SharePoint, and this is a working setup right now. So the first thing that you need to do is create your list. There are specific fields that you're going to need to create in order to use this template. So they're all described in the instructions in that blue section. We need a title field, which is your standard SharePoint field you get automatically. Additional to that, you'll create a text field to hold the hyperlink. Uh, just use a standard text field for that, not a hyperlink field. Uh, you need an image field that'll hold the background image. And then you're going to have four number fields to hold the width, height of each of the boxes, and then the um, location, which is defined as row and column. It's the coordinates where that box will be located. And one last field to hold the background color in case you're not going to use a background image. So I've already set up those fields. Here's my SharePoint list. This is all that you'll need. And then you can apply your template on top of that. Okay, so there's my all items view. Now let's go to the superhero view. 
and this is how that's set up. So to demonstrate, I'm going to go ahead and show you um, the edit view. Now there's an option in here, if you check this edit box and apply that template onto the special view that you can create, that way you can have a mode, if you will, an edit mode where you can easily adjust these um, and not have to work from that list view. So that way you can see what's going on. So for example, maybe I'm moving some things around. I can just do things like say, okay, move that over to column five, you know, and I can bump things around. So I can move this over, now that's column four. You can see what's going on. So it's a, a visual way to make updates. And then, you know, maybe this is going to be wider now. So I'm gonna say that's a width of uh, three boxes. So boom, that's wider. And then um, I'll go ahead and switch it back just to show you how quick you can make those updates. Um, I just am adjusting everything back the direction that I had it before. So let me finish those updates. And then what we'll do is add a new box just for fun. Um, so there's that. And I just kind of arbitrarily pick some pictures. You can do whatever you want. I don't claim this is a good set of pictures. That's up to you. It's completely under your control. So if I want a new box, the way this works, I'd say, you know, what's the text that's going to be in the box? I'm going to put a dummy link value in here. And I'm going to say this is starting at column five on row one. And I'm going to have a tall one. We'll say it's going to be three high. And you can do just a background color if you want. So as an example, I'll do um, blue background. Well, I'll do navy. How about that? And then I can save. And then I've got a you know box that's set up for that. Oh, it didn't like the color I used. Hold on. Let me change it to something else. Let's do blue. Oh, I need to apply the template over this one. So um, uh, let me go here. OK, let's go to the image. There it is. It was just being slow to update. Um, OK, now what I normally want to do, I'm going to use a uh, image. So I'm going to go ahead and load an image in here. There's an image that I like. And I just hit save. All right, that looks pretty cool, I think. OK, so. This is the flexibility of the layout. This is why we call it a superhero web part, because you can do anything you want, any type of tapestry of squares and boxes, any creative thing that you want to do with that, it's completely under your control. So a lot of flexibility in terms of what you set up. And then if you want to do things like adjust the font size um, and move the location of those, that type of thing, that's completely in your control. And all these are linkable tiles. You can see as I hover around, um, there's a lasso effect, if you will. I can see the um, borders on that. And then once you've got this set up, the cool thing is you can now put this onto your landing page. So if I create a new page, I'll go to site contents um, and we'll make a new page. So I'll call it uh, new superhero. Actually, I'm going to show you a better way to do this. Let me um, let me back out of this and I'm going to show you a trick, a cool trick. You can go and copy the home page of your SharePoint site and that is kind of a minimal page if you will. So we can take that page and copy it and use that for our new setup. So if I go to site pages and I'm going to go to, this is the standard SharePoint home. And notice how there's no extra stuff on top. And so I can use that page. I can make a copy of it and do um, copy to here, the same location. It'll give me a little warning and um, you know ask what to do. I'll say keep both. And then what I need to do is go find my new page. It made a copy of that home. I need to come down here and do show all. And if I go all the way to the bottom, I'm going to see the new one. Um, okay, so it says home three. Let's rename that and we'll say superhero home. Obviously, you wouldn't call it that, but um, I'm just demonstrating how you can set this up. So I go like this. Okay, so then once I'm in this page, I'm going to get rid of all this stuff. I don't want any of it. So I want to go to this main area. We want to have one section 
and I'm just gonna trash can all this stuff. I don't want this. We just want our superhero web part. Okay, so gone, trash can, trash can, trash can, trash can for everything. I want one thing on this page. I want that new, cool um, superhero web part. So I'm just gonna find my list, which is called superhero. Easy to remember. Oh, it's being slow to load. Okay, hold on. Not that one. I've got a lot in this site, so um, it's been SharePoint's a little slow. Okay, superhero. Okay, there, it's finally gonna work with me. Um, I've got too much stuff in this website. Okay, there's superhero, and then I want the view, which is gonna be superhero, and I don't wanna show the command bar, I don't want the see all button, I just hit apply, and there it is. Um, we just need it to Be large there now I can see the whole thing publish and there's your page you can make that your landing page um, I don't want to see superhero at the top let me show you how you can get rid of that you just take that text and just go like that and it's gone so now you can set this as your landing page and you can um, you know have this type of setup so that's all there is to it that was the superhero web part it's actually uh you're using the list view web part on a page and it's using that uh, json formatted template um, for that but it's acting in the same capacity as the hero web part so that's why i refer to this as a superhero web part so if you're interested in a new dynamic way to have total control over that grid style layout where you have those different uh, size boxes and you want to do something more than what you get with the out-of-the-box settings this is a great template that allows you to be creative um, with your images and your box sizes and do something dynamic that's going to be eye-catching for your users so um, I hope you found that interesting you can get to this template at the SharePoint dashboard site there are 21 free templates available at SharePoint dashboards if you've never used that before you can get a free sign up and then if you go on to get a subscription, you can get this template along with uh, a total of 162 templates as of this video. And you can do all kinds of cool things in SharePoint. Good luck.